fearing what my friends might say about me. I was about to stop the game when his broken cry and the wild look in his eyes made me understand that he had lost everything he owned. Weak of mind and made weaker by wine, he should never have been allowed to play that night. But I had not stopped him. I had used his condition to destroy him. The room was very quiet. I could feel the icy coldness in my friends. What I would have done, I cannot say, for at that moment, the wide heavy doors of the room were suddenly open. Every light in the room went out, but I had seen that a man had entered. He was about my height, and he was wearing a very fine long coat. The darkness, however, was now complete. 